Yo! Fellas, you guys crack me up, man. <laughs> Never change. Never change, guys. You guys crack me up. Happy Monday, guys. Um, I just want to start off the stream. The same people calling for a super cycle a week ago, now screaming for the rooftops. <laughs> that, we're going lower, that we're going way lower. You, you can't make this stuff up, man. You, you, you really can't. This is why crypto is crypto, man. Uh, in a week, things can change very, very much. But uh, let's talk some Bitcoin and uh, let's talk about what the title is. Uh, we've seen this Bitcoin price action before. I don't know why everyone's squirming up and down like a, like a squirrel. Um, when every single time Bitcoin has hit its all-time high, it's seen a, it's taken a little bit to get through there, right? It hasn't been this seamless thing like we break through. And then I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. I, I, I say this every time. This, this whole run-up for Bitcoin that we've had, we've followed the previous cycles and it's worked out. I don't know why people don't just follow the previous cycles and see that we've stopped at the all-time high for a couple weeks before we broke through. All right, so uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. And uh, let's freaking get it, man. Let's freaking get it. But, you know, I got to say, I got to say, I got to say, you know, a week ago, this was the sentiment. Jordan doesn't think we are going into a super cycle. He's an idiot. We are going to super cycle. We will say 300 to 400K. Yes, we are going significantly higher. Jordan is dumb for taking profits now. <laughs> He's selling Bitcoin, a little bit of Bitcoin now. Like, this is ridiculous. We are going to super cycle. And let's fast forward to today. Wow. Jordan thinks we are going to bounce soon. He is an idiot. We are going so much lower. <laughs> you can't make this up, man. All right. So let, let, let's talk about it, man. Man, this is why I love crypto, man. You, you just do the opposite of, of the emotions of the market. And it's been it's fantastic. All right. So let's talk a little bit. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's get this. Uh, when phase E, bro, every altcoin is up three, four X, unless you're in some shit coin. <laughs> so, I don't want to hear it from you. All right, let's, uh, let's talk some crypto. All right. So, uh, let's get it. So Bitcoin guys, what, what I, I don't, I don't get it sometimes. And this, this is, this is, I, I feel like sometimes I need to take a little break from the market, man. Cause the emotions are just absolutely insane, bro. Every single day it's flip flop and bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish. I've been saying this the whole ride up for Bitcoin. It's just a flip flop every goddamn day. All right, let's talk about this from a from a non-emotional standpoint and from a standpoint of what's happened at the previous cycles at this point where Bitcoin has hit the blue moving average of the Pi cycle top and its previous all-time high at the same time. We've seen this happen twice before, okay? So let's go take a look. So you guys can see right here, we are at, <laughs> we are at, and I, the first thing I wanna say is I hope this is a reminder, guys, of why we won't see a super cycle because people are so goddamn emotional. As soon as one person sells, the next person sells, the next person sells, people are so goddamn emotional. This is a perfect example of why we will not see a super cycle. So if you are someone who believes in a super cycle, guys, take profits on the way up. Take profits. Do not be hoping for 500, a million dollars. It's not going to happen, guys, okay? All right, let's 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 talk. So Bitcoin, we're at our previous all-time high. You can see that we've, we've been below it for about two weeks, right? So we got a little wick above, which is okay. And we fall back below. This is the second week that we're below those previous all-time highs. So let's go back over here and look at what happened back in 2020, okay? And this is kind of what we've been saying, right? So right here back in uh, at 20,000, right? As you can see, Bitcoin came up in its cycle. And what did we do, right? We actually stayed below it after testing it for one, two, three, and on the fourth week we broke through. Okay, so we had a little resistance there for a little bit. You can see that Bitcoin actually, after testing that high, actually got about a 16, 17% pullback before actually breaking through, right? If we go back to this cycle, back in 2013, right? Well, actually 27, I guess 2017, I guess. 2017, right? We came up to those highs. You can see we went slightly above it and then we pulled back a little bit, right? This pullback was a little bit bigger because the market was much smaller back then. This was about a 33% pullback, right? Before Bitcoin then went up and tested again and broke through, right? So we don't have to break through it the first time. And I, I think this is this is something that we have to remember and something that we don't have to get super emotional about, okay? And I think that the market is super emotional right now. That's why you're seeing all coins come back down um, because I think just pe people are super emotional, bro. Um, especially people who haven't been in this market before and, you know, been through at least not one, but two cycles before, uh, don't understand the volatility of the crypto market. All right. So 
What I want to talk about today is we're at the previous all-time high. It's normal that we see a little bit of rejection here. Um, and I want to show you guys the price action from 2020. I actually think this is super interesting. Okay, so if you're feeling emotional, I'm going to show you guys that this exact same thing, the exact same thing we're happening right now, candle to candle is the, the exact same thing that we saw in 2020. Okay, so this is what the price action was back in 2020. Okay, so you guys see this white, um, this white price action here. Okay, this was the 2020 price action at the all time highs. I basically put that line where the all time high was on the test right here. Okay, now. I'm gonna walk you guys through this. So if you don't know what this price action is, this is right here, okay? This is this 2020 price action right here when we tested all time highs, okay? And I basically took that and just put it next to it so you guys can see it nice and neat uh, right next to where we are now. And I'm gonna show you guys that this is normal. You need to relax. Jeez, man. So look, you can see back in 2020, right? We came up to all time highs. You can see that we actually rejected from it the first time. Big rejection, right? Huge rejection. We came back down just like we did on the first test right here, right? We came up to all time highs, big rejection. Then what do we do? We actually came back up and we actually broke the all time highs. But what happened, right? We couldn't hold and we actually dumped back down. What did we do this time, right? We broke the all time highs. We couldn't hold it and we actually dumped back down. Now what you'll notice is where did that pullback come back to? Where did it come back to fellas? the golden pocket, right? Which is right here, right? So from this low to this high, we pulled back to the golden pocket, right? And we actually held that golden pocket. Now, what are we doing right now? Okay, you can see that we broke the highs, we came back down, we pulled back. Where did we just get that last local low? At the golden pocket, right? Now, this is the point in the market where we could come back and test that golden pocket again. But as long as that golden pocket holds at about 64,000, we're doing the same thing we did back in 2020, fellas. All right? And I'm going to show you that the altcoin market was actually doing the same thing back then as what it's doing right now, which is actually pull back when Bitcoin got rejected from its all-time highs because of the fear, right? So I'll show you guys that. But you can see as long as we hold this golden pocket, we're doing the same thing that we did last cycle, okay? We need to relax. I don't understand the historia. If you've been in this market before, you know that you're gonna see crazy swings up and crazy swings down. It's the people that can control their emotions and play the cycles, that will be the winners. Not the people panic selling the lows, calling for lower at the lows, and then when the prices go up, call for super cycles, okay? Which is literally 80% of people. A week ago, Bitcoin's going to a super cycle. Now, Bitcoin's going to 50K. You can't make this up. This is crypto, okay? So this is what we did in 2020, right? So as long as we hold this golden pocket right here at about 64,000, it's the same price action that we saw in 2020 before we actually got that higher move to the upside, okay? Now, <clears throat> that's what I want to start with today, okay? That's what I want to start with today. Now, you might be wondering, from that point, right? You guys might be wondering, let's have Bob to, to express his feelings. But Jordan, what the frick is going on with the altcoins, man? Christ, I, I get it. Bitcoin, you know, it's at its all-time highs. It's going to get rejected for a little bit. But what's going on with the alts? They're getting crushed, man. Okay, so <laughs> thank you, Bob. <laughs> thank you, Bob. Let's go back. Let's go back. And, dude, look at the sentiment of this... I hope some of you guys are trolling, man. I really, really do, man. I really, really do, man. I, I, I hope some of you guys are trolling, man. I see some names that a week ago, people calling Bitcoin never gonna get a pullback again. We're going to 500K. The same people now calling for Bitcoin to get a massive pullback. I, I, I really hope, I hope some of you guys are trolling, man. All right, um, let's <laughs> look at the chat. We should put an overlay of the chat a week ago versus the chat now. <laughs> a week ago when I said Bitcoin's not going to a super cycle and everyone's attacking me because I'm saying Bitcoin's not going into a super cycle. <laughs> oh my God. Now everyone's attacking me saying Bitcoin's going to bounce. <laughs> Jesus, man. All right. Uh, let's... <laughs> we all going to die. All right. Let's go back and look, right? So Bitcoin rejected all time highs. Let's go back and look. Okay. So 
Last time Bitcoin got rejected from the all-time highs. We've talked about this a few times, okay? It was right here, end of November into the beginning of December of 2020, okay? Right here, Bitcoin rejected from all-time highs for a few weeks. What were altcoins doing during that time? Were they all rainbows and sunshines during that time? Or were we actually seeing big dumps? Well, here you go. This is where all coins were during that time. And in November, beginning of December, you guys can see that the altcoin market actually got crushed for a few weeks in here, right? See right here? We had a big pump. This was the start of phase E, just like we just went through, right? We can see Bitcoin went to all-time highs, got rejected for a few weeks, and the altcoin market actually was pretty volatile. <laughs> kind of similar to what we're doing now, right? Yesterday was a big up day. Today is a big down day. <laughs> it's just back and forth. But you can see we did actually get a pretty big pullback on the altcoins right here while Bitcoin was testing the all-time highs, right? Bitcoin really didn't dump that much, but you can see the altcoin market actually went down about 30% during that time when Bitcoin only went down 10, right? So it's the exact same thing we're seeing right now. It's emotions. It's um, really just a flip-flop nature of the market. And that's why crypto is awesome. That's why we get the big gains because people are emotional with the high volatile assets, okay? So I see the same thing is happening. We just got to chill out, guys. And I, I think what also correlates to that is if we actually go look at the stock market today, um, let's see, man. Let's let's go back and look here. So stocks are up today, uh, pretty good amount, right? Nasdaq's up 1.5, S&P's up about 1%. So the big fear going to this week was the stock market is going to dump, um, but it starts out pretty good to start the week, right? That's <laughs> it's always usually the opposite of what happens. So what happens, right? So uh, there you go. You got you know obviously the macro stuff looking fine. But, you know, at the end of the day, let's go against the grain a little bit again, okay? Because I'm starting to sense that a week ago, most people thought we were going higher. And now I think most people think we're going lower, okay? So I'm going to go to the grain a little bit, you know, and I'll say as long as we hold this $64,000 level, which we could test again, right? To be totally normal, create a double bottom there. As long as we hold this golden pocket level, this would be a very logical place, just like in 2020, where we launched from that point, to see Bitcoin once again launch from that point. Okay, so that's where my head's at. Right? Um, it is what it is. Like the red, they suck. It is what it is. Um, but that's part of being in crypto, man. If you, if you rid your altcoins up the last few months, you're going to have red days. It's not going to be all rainbows and sunshines. And holding our hands as, as, as we all go to the moon, right? At some point, it gets to that point. But you need to have the points and the days where, and the weeks sometimes, where you sort of wash out the people who don't really think we're going higher and the people who are over leveraged, um, as the, a lot of the leveraged traders have been just getting washed the last few weeks. So um, that's what we got, man. That's what we got. So Patience, 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 guys. The red days are going to happen. But once again, you, you look at the bigger time frames and a lot of these coins, they're all in uptrends. So relax, okay? Unless you fumble the highs, which you should not be fumbling the highs, okay? Do not fumble highs on coins. As long as you didn't fumble the highs, you should be up on most coins, okay? Not If not all of them. So um, that's really that, guys. Anyways, besides that point, um, this is what it is, man. Uh, I was watching The Big Lebowski with the wife this weekend. She thought it was the dumbest movie ever. She couldn't even recognize art when she sees it. Well, I'm not good with art too, either, Franco. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a really artistic person, really. Um, so, <laughs> I don't really get. I'm not fascinated with art. Like some people are super fascinated with art. I'm just not. I'm not fascinated with art. Sometimes I see art and I'm like, how is that art? A two-year-old can draw that, right? But you know. It is what it is. I'm not a I'm not a very artistic person. Um, what's up, man? Wayne said market zero. Yeah, and I, I want this to really be a reminder, guys. Let these weeks be reminders. Okay, you're gonna have pullback, so make sure you're selling coins on the way up. Right. The other day, I said I was selling some near. Okay, you guys were hating on me for a little bit for that, but I'm happy I did right now. Okay, Fed. I said I was going to sell a little bit of FET at this trend line. I was getting a little hate for that. I'm happy I did now. 
Bitcoin. I said I was going to sell a little Bitcoin when it hit the pie cycle top indicator and when it hit all time highs. I'm happy I did now, right? So make sure you guys, this is a reminder. It's not going to be going straight up. We're not going to have a super cycle. Get that out of your head. There's no super cycle. And I guarantee you when Bitcoin breaks the highs again, because it will, the super cycle shit's going to come back. We're not going into a super cycle, fellas. Take profits on the way up. I don't want to see you guys ride things all the way up just to ride them all the way back down because you believe in this mythical super cycle. Take profits on the way up. Please. Please do it, man. <laughs> God damn it, man. If your coin is mooning, take a little off the board. It's okay. It's okay. All right? Um, there is no super cycle coming, fellas. Okay? And I'm not just saying this now because we dumped. I was saying this when Bitcoin was at a 74 peak. I was saying the same shit. There is no super cycle. <laughs> All right, get that out of your head. Doesn't mean we ain't going higher, but there ain't no super cycle. Okay, um, besides that, right, this is what it is, right? We, I, I, I kind of went up through where, we're, where I think we are. Um, just that Bitcoin's typical all-time high retest uh, phase. And, um, you know, like I said, you got to weather the storm, fellas. Um, let's see. Can this be a sub-super cycle? It could, Wayne. It, 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 it could Nothing is mooning yet. That's just not true. That's just not true, bro. If you don't, if you think nothing is mooned yet, that's just not true at all. <laughs> that's just not true. Um, Franco said, Jordan, I took twenty percent profits last week. Stop yelling at me. Thank you, Franco. Thank you, man. Franco gets it. Why? Because Franco's been through a full cycle before. Uh, Elliot, near and GPU will take us to Valhalla. Patience, man. Patience, 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 man. Like I said. Um, when you see the sentiment shift um, during, I mean, if we look at Bitcoin, right, 9% pullback on Bitcoin, but yet, you know, the sentiment is just like super cycle to significant pullback when it switches that quickly. And I think it's mostly to do with because all coins are down so much, um, which, I mean, I, I always go back and look at like, are, are all coins really down that much? Because a few weeks ago, they were much lower than they are now. <laughs> so like, are they really down that much? Or is it because people bought the highs? <laughs> I think it's more because people bought the highs. But um, but yeah. What are your top five AI coins? Uh, I like FET, GPU, uh, PAL. I like Render. I just never got a good entry on Render, but I do like Render. And um, Ocean's a good one too. Oceans going and and, and Tau, but but answer, but answer. So um, I like those ones. I mean, I'll, every any AI coin, man. Um, any AI, any AI coin, uh, if you can get a significant pullback on it, is good. Just understand, like, um, especially yesterday, right? Almost almost all the AI coins were up like twenty to fifty percent yesterday. Don't buy on those days. Don't buy them on the crazy up days. Wait for a red day, right? So like all the AI coins that were up 50% today have pulled back 20% today. All the AI coins that were up 20% yesterday are down about 10% today, okay? They're still higher, but <laughs> you wanna buy on the red days, okay? So like today, right? Today's a red day, Not a, probably not a bad time to pick some up, right? Pick some up on the red days, don't wait for the pumps. Uh, Marcellus, so when do, exactly does the super cycle start? <laughs> I hope this is a reminder that like emotions are always in the market. Like super cycles are kind of a myth. Uh, <laughs> there's always going to be emotions in the market or why super cycles are, are not really a thing. Because like, the thing about super cycles, you can go into like a, a 50 year, like like the S&P 500, right? Technically it's in a super cycle, but you're still going to have like 40, 50% drops in between, you know? Like it's never just going to be this thing where you get, okay, you're up 10% down. You're up 10% down. You're up 10% down. There's always going to be big drops in between, even even in those massive bull markets. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. But anyways, it's Monday, fellas. It's Monday. Um, it's a good day today. It is. It is. Uh, it really, really is. Like if you understand the cycle, it's a really, really good day today. Um, for especially for the people who don't have all their bags packed, today's a really, really good day. Okay. So uh, remember that, right? You're you're. It's hard to explain, but if you've been through a cycle before, you understand that um, 
like it, the, the opportunity is still there, right? So um, it's, it's just not getting too caught up in the hour to hour, right? It's Gungo Parabolic Super Cycle after the halving. Anderson, no super cycle, bro. <laughs> Please, God damn it. I know you know better than anyone that there's no goddamn super cycle. <laughs> oh, Lord. Because the, the reason why you're not going to have a super cycle is because ex it's, it's because people are so emotional. Right? That's why. Especially in crypto. Because people are so goddamn emotional. All right. Uh, but that's that, yeah. That's that, yeah. So the sentiment's pretty shit. Uh, once again... I think there's a good chance that, you know, if 64,000 can hold, that we're actually going to see a new Bitcoin high uh, within, within. I mean, I think pretty soon. I think pretty soon. And, and and you might call me stupid for saying that now, and it's okay. Like, this whole run-up, I was, you know how many times I was called stupid because everyone's like, we have to pull back, Jordan. We have to pull back. We are overheated. <laughs> right? This whole thing right here, right? Everyone calling for 32K. Nope, we pump again, right? Right here, Bitcoin pulls back to 38.5. I say that this is most likely the low at 38.5. I get called stupid. We have to test 32K. Nope, we don't. Boop, we come up. This is the top 52K. We have to come back down and test 44. Nope, we don't. We come up higher. Okay, oh, we test all time highs. We're going to a super cycle, Jordan. I say, nope, we're not going to a super cycle. We pull back. Okay, now we're here. Okay, now we're doing the same price action we did back in 2020. Now I'm getting called an idiot because I think this this could be the low for Bitcoin. We're going significantly lower. It's the same shit over and over again, man. So uh, here we are, right? And I think this is a good chance that this is the low right here, right? At least for Bitcoin. You can still see altcoins dribble down a little bit. But at least for Bitcoin, um, as long as we hold this level, I think uh, things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good, man. Things are looking pretty good because... You really haven't pulled back much for Bitcoin, but you've already got some of the fear back. Um, and that's due to the altcoin market. So I think, you know, a little bit of sentiment shipped because I, I think there was a little bit too much euphoria with the whole super cycle shit. And I think we kind of wiped that away now. So um, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Jordan's microwave ribs are ready. Dude, I love, I love microwave ribs, Franco. M microwave ribs are fantastico. Only those microwave ribs. I don't think all microwave ribs would be good. Only good microwave ribs with some good barbecue sauce, um, which is just been some fantastic shit. Marcellus, a moment of silence for all the people that aren't buying today that will start buying again at all time highs. Well, I mean, you don't have to be buying today. I think a lot of people in the chat have already got their bags back from significantly lower prices, right? So you don't have to be buying. I would say moment of silence for, for, I guess, I think there's no moment of silence yet, okay? <laughs> I don't think there's any moment of silence yet. But I think moment of silence for people selling the low on the wicks that we've seen on the alts, okay? That Those people that we're buying back at higher prices. That's the, that's the reason why we go higher because you got, you got retail selling the wicks, right? Smart money buys the low, right? Pushes price up, and then the same retail that bought the wick, they bought, they buy the high again, right? Smart money sells, we pull back. Smart money comes in, buys the lows, right? Pushes price higher, up. Retail buys again. <clears throat> Moment of silence for Cardano holders. <laughs> but anyways, guys, things look good, right? I, I don't, I, you know, things look really, really good, right? Weekly looks fantastic. The monthly looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, if we, and if we take a look at some stuff that we've seen in the past, right? So like this is the monthly RSI. I like to take a look at this in the past to see where we've kind of topped out. Um, the monthly RSI is about a 75. Um, every cycle we've seen Bitcoin go up, that monthly RSI get up to like a 90 before the top is in, right? So March of 2021, we saw the monthly RSI get up to a 90. Um, November, or sorry, December 2017, we saw it get up to about a 97, which is actually pretty crazy. Uh, November 2013, we saw it get up to like a 97. And actually, back in 2011, we saw this shit back up at like a 99. So um, every cycle we've seen this get up into the 90s. Um, every metric that I look at tells me Bitcoin's going higher, right? Coinbase is not even in the top 200 apps after this pullback. Uh, buy crypto is all the way down here still, right? Um, monthly RSI typically isn't even at the point where typically Bitcoin goes parabolic. Usually gets parabolic after it breaks this about 75 level. 
And yeah, that's that. I, I think we got a really, really good sentiment sentiment reset. And I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to freaking go. And um, the sentiment reach, uh, reset, when I see fear in the market, when my bags are already packed, it gets me super, super excited. Uh, super, super excited. I, I actually like when there's fear in the market because that, that gives me more confidence that price is going higher rather than everyone yelling super cycle, super cycle, super cycle, super cycle, right? Gives me even more confidence. So uh, that's that. And yeah, like I said, man, there's only so many things I could say. Um, and, you know, we, we, we could definitely see lower prices we talked about, right? About 20% pullback would put us about 59K. We could see that. Always a possibility. We could see that. Um, but at the same time, I've seen this price action before. And actually, if you were back here in 2020, which most people weren't, most people got in at the top in 2021. But if you hear back in the December 2020, when Bitcoin was doing the same price action, it was a lot of the same sentiment you saw now, right? Double top, right? Swing failure at the highs. We're going so much lower. Bitcoin has to go back and retest 14K. That, that was the thing back in 2020. Bitcoin has to go back and retest 14K. That, 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 was like, that was like the thing to say back then, is Bitcoin has to go back and test 14K. Right here, like we came up to right here, all-time highs. We have to go test 14K again. Nope. Bitcoin just broke through after a few weeks of testing, right? So patience, 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 guys. The patient will win. I'll say this again. The patient will win and it's only a matter of time, right? This is not hopium. This is just looking at previous cycles, guys. Uh, I think hopium is calling for ridiculously lower prices, to be honest. So uh, that's what we got. Decky. Jordan, any advice for what to do once one took profits close to the top? You just leave market and come back a year later? Yes. Just leave. Enjoy life for a little bit. I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. When I'm when when that pie cycle top crosses, I am taking a break from this market, bro, because it makes me go insane sometimes. I'm surprised I don't have gray hair. <laughs> I cannot deal with the emotions. I'm telling you, once this pie cycle top crosses, guys, I'm I'm going to take at least a month or two off. I'm, I'm just telling you straight up. I'm taking at least a month or two off from YouTube. Um... I'm going to say, guys, I think the bear market's starting soon. That's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to make I'm going to make it very, very clear that I think we're going back into the year-long bear market. Because it's going to come again, right? It's, it's, it's the same shit every single time. Um, I'll make it very, very clear that I think the bear market's starting. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to continue to hold some Bitcoin in case, in case there's, there's always a chance we do... Like, when I say there's a chance we go into a super cycle, there's a very low chance. I'll always hold some Bitcoin. Um, but other than that, all the altcoins are gone, and you know we're we're gonna we're gonna take a little break from the market because <laughs> I can't deal with the emotions through the bear market again. I can't do it, especially the early phase of the bear, where everyone's flip flopping from bullish to bearish again. When it's clear um, that we that we've right altcoins have done crazy moves, and it's like okay, at this point we're close to the top. You know, Bitcoin starts pulling back. It's probably the end, right? So that's the plan, at least. That's the plan. Uh, hair must exist in order to become a gray. True, Franco. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, man. <laughs> that's a good one, man. Um, but Mar Mar Marcellus, man, came with the big super chat. I said, jokes aside, just a huge thank you for the entertaining team. Teams? Teams? Oh, streams. This is my first bull run. I've loved every stream since March 23rd, uh, March of 2023, when I started watching you. Nothing but fun and good vibes. Give the good work. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming in, bro. Uh, Marcellus, just make sure you know, you, you um, this is not the most popular talk. And, and I, I guess I hope, I hope this little pullback that we're having is a reminder of why, if you're up significantly on altcoin, take some off the board. It's going to make you feel much, much better about the pullbacks. If you take a little off the board, because then you can choose if you want to put that money back in the market or just keep them, just keep the money in the bank. You can make that choice. But I, but I hope this is a wake up call because we had many many weeks of just up only, and a little wake up call was nice. Just make sure you know, uh, you know, we see Bitcoin break the highs again, which I think it will soon actually. Um, that <laughs> you reconsider your super cycle thoughts. <clears throat> I just got my notification on YouTube. Cryptomania, what the hell, man? We gotta we gotta become Karen's on YouTube now, man. 
What the hell, man? <laughs> Wait, why am I talking like watching it? This is ridiculous. Why isn't YouTube giving anyone the notifications? Jordan works very, very hard in the streams. He sits in a chair. He... <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. Where's your short-term outlook for GPU? Eh, man, it's, it's going to consolidate until Bitcoin looks, looks okay. Just weather the storm, man. Weather the storm. Weather the storm, bro. Weather the goddamn storm. The old coins will continue to be super volatile up and down, right? So today's red. I always say this. Today's red. Tomorrow will probably be green. The, the, it's going to be up and down, up and down, up and down. Just weather the storm until Bitcoin finds a low. That's all you can do, right? Um, Cryptorian said we ain't breaking all-time high until the end of the year. Do you don't think we break all-time high to the end of the year? Do you think we're going to go nine months, eight, nine months of just like chopping in here? I don't think so. That would just kill. I think that would just kill all the momentum that we've had. <clears throat> um, after having my bags packed for over a year, the dips do not phase me at all. That's insane, man. That, that's why you have to get a good entry. If you have a good entry on a coin, you don't really care about dips, right? Because I mean, the dips... Yeah, the dips are crazy, but that's why getting a good entry on coins is so important. Because the problem is if you FOMO into a coin at the highs, you're going to be much, much more emotional about holding that coin because <laughs> you bought it at the highs, right? Those those losses are going to seem much, much bigger than if you bought a coin at the lows, right? So I, entry entry is always is always so, so important. Um, it's a 10 year extended cycle. You think so? Shit. <clears throat> That's crazy. Ah, it's just, it's, it's, it's the same cycle guys. I mean, <laughs> like I said, I, I could talk about a million different things. This pie cycle top, I think it's going to call the top again. Right? I doubted it in 2021. I think it's going to call the top again. I think it's really going to be that easy. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be that e easy last time. I honestly, I was like, the Pi Cycle Top is crossing again. There's no way it's this easy again. There's no way it's just going to be Pi Cycle Top crosses. That's the top for Bitcoin. Get out of the market and enjoy life. There, there's no way it was going to be that easy. And it was. <laughs> Something tells me it's going to be the same shit again. Everything so far has been the same, relatively the same. Yeah, we've gone up a little bit faster earlier. But everything so far has been relatively the same as far as the way, you know, Bitcoin's moved, ETH's moved, alt's moved. Um everything's been so far the same so i think it's literally going to be that easy of you know bitcoin kind of just continues to grind up and you wait for these two moving averages to cross <clears throat> we don't really we don't really have to make it too difficult yeah it's more entertaining for me to find a million different things and talk a million different things every day i understand that's more entertaining and you know i, I could do that you know i really could I just don't, I, I want to be honest with you guys and just tell you like, there's only a few things I think you really have to look at. Like the things that have worked in the past, which is this, right? Coinbase app ranking, um, somewhat Google trends, right? And, and just waiting till those things get topped out. That's really it. <clears throat> Bronson DCA Bitcoin in the 70 Ks. I would like to, <laughs> Bronson flip bullish on the 70 Ks. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up, man. You can't make this shit up, bro. It's it's ridiculous, man. But guys, I want you guys to remember this going into the rest of this week. Remember how you feel today. I want you guys to think to... And you guys, I actually... You might make fun of me for this. But if you're serious about, you know, playing crypto cycles in the future, or even you know, maybe you think this is the last crypto cycle and you're going to go like, over the stock market or, or whatever market you want to go to, I'm serious about this. You should start a, 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 a investing journal. And what, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, like, it, this is if you're serious about, you know, uh, investing or, and, and just, you know, playing the long-term game on stuff. Like, this isn't really for, sh and short-term traders can do this too. But this is more for, like, the long-term players. I want, like, documenting when there's significant points in the charts documenting how you feel document how you feel this is really really helpful 
um, because you can go back and look at times in the past where you had similar situations and cycles and document what your brain's telling you, okay? It's really, really helpful. It's really, really helpful, man. I'm telling you, like, because you can go back and look at okay, Bitcoin's in this situation, right? Testing all-time highs. Next time we're doing this, because I think there's going to be another cycle. There's always other cycles, right? You can go back and look at next time Bitcoin's testing all-time highs, and it's probably going to get rejected from the all-time highs again. And you can say, shit. And the same thing I'm doing now, right? Back in 2020. I remember the, the sentiment was very, very bearish right here. And it didn't feel good to continue to hold stuff, right? It didn't feel good especially old coins it didn't feel good during that time um it felt like shit you should really document how you feel in certain situations like start today right i want you guys to document how you feel right here about bitcoin at its all-time highs document this and use it for next time and it'll help you man it'll help you a lot you might make fun of it but i'm telling you it really really helps because emotions the markets are all emotions that's all it is it's really emotions, right? Market moves up, you don't want to sell because you think it's going to go higher. Market moves down, you don't want to buy because you think it's going to go lower. It's really just emotions. That's all it is. Who are we going to watch, BitBoy? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. When I say I'm going to take like a month or two off, probably not the whole... I'm, I, what I mean is I'm not going to be streaming every single day, right? I'll probably hop on a few times a week, give you guys an update, but I, I think it's gonna be straightforward. I think when Bitcoin hits a high, it's gonna do the typical year long bear market before we find a low. And then we talk about the accumulation phase again, right? The, my biggest lesson this cycle was buy Bitcoin first. Don't even touch altcoins, okay? Don't even touch altcoins until later on in the bear, but accumulate Bitcoin first because Bitcoin's gonna be the first mover. It always is. And it outpaces most altcoins. Some altcoins outpace Bitcoin, obviously, right? But the chances are you find those are very slim. Buy Bitcoin first. And then as, as Bitcoin starts to move higher, then we start to buy altcoins. That, that's my, that was my biggest lesson that I learned, right? Last cycle, my biggest lesson was don't fall for the super cycle narrative. This cycle, my biggest lesson was accumulate Bitcoin first, altcoins later, right? So you, knew, you learn a new thing every single time. <clears throat> What's fear and greed at? It's still an extreme greed. Fear and greed index is pointless. Don't guys, don't look at this shit. Unfortunately, we we only have one one cycle to go off of. But I, I tell you guys this: right here is when Bitcoin broke all time highs. It was an extreme greed. Okay, Bitcoin went up to test all time highs right here in November of twenty twenty. Okay, same thing we're doing now, right? We're an extreme greed. From the point we tested all time highs to the point we had the China ban. Right? Actually, I mean, we had one little, we had one day where we came lower right here. One day, and then we popped back up to extreme greed. All the way until we had that China ban, which was, are you serious? The China ban, we stayed above mostly a 70 the whole time. Right? So the thing is, when the market's hot, you're going to have extreme greed because everyone's going to be in profits. So you're going <laughs> to. One's going to be in greed. Um, let's see. Bear market initiated. Oh, Lord. Bear market confirmed. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I love this shit, man. I love this market, man. I do. I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the market, man. <laughs> Uh, I was fearful from 62K to 73K. What, this cycle, Franco? Most people were. Most people were, man. Uh, Jordan, I just want my damn Lambo, dude. Well, you got to start with the Prius, man. You got you to gotta start with the Prius, and then you upgrade to the Lambo um, later on, later on, man. There. Most people won't make it to the Lambo, though. You're going to sell before you get to the Lambo. You're going to sell before you get to the Lambo, man. <clears throat> it's not even 2025. Here's the thing. I think, I think people need to stop talking about 2025. 
I really, really do. I, I think this cycle is playing out much, much faster. And and what I think, <laughs> what I think honestly already happened, and I think is, is still going to happen, is so many people got left in the dust right here on Bitcoin. So many people got left in the dust because everyone was waiting to the having to get in. This is this is what we said during the bear. The having is going to get front run because everyone knows about it now. I think a lot of people got left in the dust because everyone just looked in the past and said, I'm not going to buy Bitcoin to the having. What's the point? Right? It usually goes parabolic after the having. We've already seen Bitcoin do much, much more than it ever has before the having. I, honestly, the having got front run. So what I think... I mean, unless we get some major correction right here, I just, I don't think we are going to get a major correction right here. Um, but unless we do, honestly, I think the top comes in in 2024 at this point, um, you know, which <laughs> is going to, I think is going to, me saying that is not going to be popular with people holding alts because people are going to say, oh, but that doesn't leave enough time for the altcoins. But that also goes me into saying that altcoins don't need a lot of time. All coins can do 50 X's in six months. Yes, they can. Look at 2017, look at 2021. Alt season is very, very short, period of time. You don't need two years. You, 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 you need like six months. <clears throat> That's it. That's it, man. That's it. Uh, I believe this is another double top for the real super cycle. <laughs> Hope not, man. What, what was happened after the halving in previous cycles? What happened after the halving in previous cycles? That's a good question. Let's go back and look. Uh, where's the halving? Here we go. Okay, so what happened after the halving in previous cycles? So in this cycle, going into the halving, we kind of just went sideways, really. Right? I mean, this was the halving right here in 2020. We really just went sideways. I mean, you could argue they actually, we actually went slightly up after the halving, right? So the halving week, we had a red candle, okay? And then from there, we actually trended up, right? So this time we actually went up after the halving, okay? And back in the last, that was the last cycle, we went up after the halving. This cycle, we pumped into the halving and we pulled back. We pulled back before the halving and after the halving, okay? So this one, we pulled back. This one, we just pumped so something this is why you can't really say anything because something different has happened every cycle right the first cycle we pumped into it and pumped after it right so pump pump the second cycle we dumped into it dumped so dump dump the third cycle we just went sideways <laughs> so something's happened different every single cycle there's nothing we can take from this right sideways Dump, pump. <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing we could take from this that, that has any statistical advantage. And if there was, I, I would say shit, man. That there, there's some statistical advantage of using the cycles as a pullback or a pump indicator. There's not. There's not. All we can say is typically that Bitcoin tends to trend up after. Like maybe it dumps a little after, maybe it pumps after, maybe it goes sideways after but it typically trends up afterwards. That's all we can really say. There's no statistical thing that tells us what Bitcoin's gonna do after the halving. There, every time has been different. So when I, when I always hear pe people say, Bitcoin needs to pull back after the halving. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's only done it one time out of three. <laughs> so why does it need to? Right? Just like people were saying, Bitcoin needs to get a significant pullback before the halving. No, it doesn't. And it hasn't. Still could. There's still a month until the having. It still could do a big pullback right here, but it hasn't done it yet. It doesn't need to. Doesn't need to do it. Doesn't need to. Lo and Almighty. Dump, pump, or dump, or pump. <laughs> you got it, Anderson. It is what it is. Okay, Bitcoin is coming up here, guys. It's gonna be hilarious, man. I'm telling you that this. You guys, the emotions, man. Document this. Document how you felt here and document how you felt here, okay? Do it. And then I want you to document in a week how you feel here, okay?
Document all these moves. I'm telling you. Document your euphoria here. Super cycle. Jordan, you're stupid for not thinking we're going to a super cycle. Document how you document what you were saying right here. Okay. Now document what you're saying down here. All right. Jordan, you're stupid. We're not bouncing from here. We're going to 50K. Document how you feel right here. Okay. Do it. And then I want you in, in about a week or two, if we get this move higher, I want you to document how you feel here. You're going to be back to super cycle. Okay. While well, I'm taking profits. Okay. <laughs> And then you're going to be calling me stupid for taking profits, okay? It, it, it is what it is, man, okay? It is what it is. Uh, autistic, missed the morning stream. Maybe the last time you will get some altcoins at massive discount prices like OP. Let's go, Autistic. <laughs> Shout out to the homie Autistic, man. Hope you're doing good, bud. Hope you're doing good, bud. Um, yeah, guys, we'll, we'll be, we're going to be back to the night streams every day. I think actually... I think tomorrow might be the last day where I don't where I don't do an edge stream. Tomorrow I'll be doing kind of the same thing I'm doing today. Um, after tomorrow, every day should be a night stream. So I think we're, we'll be back on the grind to night streams. Uh, no more 11:30 streams after tomorrow, and then we're gonna be really kicking into gear and we're gonna we'll do a lot of fun stuff. Uh, a lot more member streams. I've been I've been holding back on the member streams because because I feel like there hasn't been a lot to talk about in the market. I think that's gonna change very very soon. Um, and yeah, man, we're, we're gonna do some morning walk videos. Maybe we'll do like morning walk live stream videos where we just do some Q and A. You know I mean? We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. I really do think the market's gonna start getting a lot more fun here. It doesn't seem like it today, which actually tells me that like when the market doesn't seem like it's gonna be fun soon, it usually is fun. Um, when the market seems like it's gonna be fun forever, it usually isn't, right? It's usually the opposite of how you feel. Um, so yeah, man, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff here. Member streams, um, live stream. Obviously, the, the the live stream at seven p.m. every day. Uh, a lot of fun stuff, man. A lot of fun stuff. Maybe we'll do some cam fam videos. You guys be begging me for the damn cam fam videos. The problem is we lost Java, and Java is like the star of the cam fam show. Anyways, Bitcoin's pumping sixty eight k, sixty eight k on Bitcoin. So we're getting a little move up on BTC. Shocker, shocker. Whoa! I'll tell you right now, guys. I do, you guys might make fun of me. This I actually, I actually, during these types of moments in the market, I actually do document how I feel. It's helped me a lot. It's helped me a lot, to be honest. I, I do document how I feel. Uh, you guys might make fun of me for that, but you know it is what it is. So yeah, this is this is this. Honestly, I think this next move is going to shock a lot of people. So let's do it, man. <sighs> AVAX, I decided to switch bull right now. <laughs> You're funny, Buddha too, man. You're funny, bro. You're funny, man. You decided to switch bull now. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it, man. But, uh, but yeah, man, if, if you're getting some dumps on altcoins that you like, guys, like, let's get, I'm not buying any more crypto. Full transparency. I'm not buying any more crypto. Only taking profits on green days for me. If your bags aren't fully packed, these are the days where you step in. Could prices go a little bit lower? Yes, but that's emotions. Prices can go always go lower. You have to weigh the risk versus reward. Okay, prices can always go lower. Buying on a red day never feels good. Okay, it never feels good. It's always gonna go lower. <laughs> that's always how you're gonna feel, right? It's always how you're gonna feel. So if you're someone who you have doesn't have all your bags packed, a day like today, if your alt's down ten to fifteen percent. This is the day you step in. Because chances are, based on statistics, tomorrow will be a green day. So at least you can sell for a profit based on statistics if you want to. Dimitri, what's up, man? Thanks for coming to member, bro. Um, Wayne said, gotta go later. Later, Wayne. See you, bro. <laughs> Clint said, only the woke. That's not true. Clint, every time you FUD shrap at the lows, it goes up. You should be documenting how you feel in each part of the market, bro. <laughs> you bought ETH at the top. You know, you should be documenting your feelings, Clint. You know? <laughs> Brian said, Jordan, when retire? Like I said, start with the Prius, and then you work the Lambo, and then you retire. Okay, but start with the Prius, man. We're in the Prius stage right now. Prius, man. 
Prius. Focus on the Prius first. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. So we're, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna leave this up. Um, but I, I I think I think this this price action back from 2020 could be leg could be pretty legendary. I, I think this could be pretty legendary. Um, stock market still green. Still green. You got still got some green over there in the stock markets. Dollars up a little bit. Gold's flat. And Bitcoin's trying to make its way back to the upside. We'll see. We could still go a little low. Like, just because Bitcoin's moving up right here does not mean it's just going to go straight out, guys. So don't go 100x long. I still think we can go a little bit lower here in the short term. All right. So there's like this fifth, there's this golden pocket right here at about 66,000. I actually wanted to take a long from there this morning. It didn't dump all the way to there. That's okay. Sometimes it doesn't get to your target. That's why you always think it's going to go lower, right? But um, yeah, front ran me a little bit. So. Yeah, it, I still think it can come back down to this level, even if it pumps up a little bit. Like you could see something like this, pump up, break the highs, come back down, take the lows, and then get the move up. Something like this, right? I think is, is totally logical. Um, but like I said, as long as we hold like 64,300, which is the macro golden pocket, all looks pretty similar to how it did back in 2020 before we actually really started the really fun phase um, right here. So we're, we're, we're gonna keep this like this and see if the emotions of the market, because what's a fractal? A fractal is emotions. We'll see if emotions of the market play out the same, which is euphoria, fear, euphoria, fear, euphoria. So we'll see, we'll see if it plays out. <clears throat> six, 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 six was the target. <laughs> oh Lord. Seven 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 next. I don't know. It, it's so hard to find the. This is why, like, when Bitcoin breaks all time highs, it's very hard to find where it's going to get resistance at. It's you're kind of just guessing. You're kind of just guessing. Because you don't have any levels. I, I I would say the only thing I can really say is like you got like. If we take a Fibonacci right here. This short term Fibonacci, and let's just do. We already passed the 1618. We actually hit the 3618. The 4236 the four, is about 81,000. So that could be a level to watch, like 81,000. But you're really just guessing at this point. You know? I know you hate price targets, but you think INJ does a 3X? Yes. 3X is, is bearish, actually. Bearish. <laughs> Only in crypto you could say a 3x is bearish. It's bearish! But yeah, shout out to Solvent, man. I, I think that's kind of a bearish take. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, bro. <clears throat> not gonna lie. When <laughs> He said, when mobility scooter. <laughs> not even the Prius. He wants to know when he can get a scooter. Hey, man, if that's your goal, you start with the scooter. And then you can make wake up to the Prius, okay? Then maybe next cycle you can do Lambo, right? So start with the scooter, Prius, and then next cycle you go Lambo. The stacks are good right now. I mean, and most things are down today. So like if you're looking to buy stuff, once again, could things go lower? Absolutely, yes, of course. They always can go lower. But buy on the red days, not the green days. Don't wait till tomorrow when things are green and you're like, wow, I'm bullish again. <laughs> right? If you're going to buy, buy on the red days. Sometimes it's that simple. Look at altcoins, damn it. Oh, my God. What? Okay, let's look at individual altcoins, even though they're all down. Besides AVAX and FTM and Solana. Solana 205. Strap up. up. We're, We're going, going to, to the moon. moon. Solana almost that 215 previous high. 215 on Sol. Woo! That was the next target on Sol. Looks like we we might actually hit that. Depending on what Bitcoin does over the next couple days, we'll probably hit that in the next couple days. 216 on Sol, and then you got the all-time highs at about 260. So, uh, yeah, man. Sol at that first peak, that September 2021 peak. So good stuff on Selena. Crazy move. Absolutely insane. AVAX actually breaking that weekly resistance. Breaking this weekly resistance right here from February 2021. So AVAX next target is that 0.5 Fibonacci at about 80 bucks. Um, 
So as long as Bitcoin holds, which I think it will, I think you're going to see $80 AVAX not too long from now. So AVAX continuing to moon, absolute crazy. Um, Phantom FTM, eh, Phantom still at that weekly resistance. So, you know, just, just keep an eye on this. It's still there, right? It's still there. Um, but if we can break through, let's just do a Fib Fibonacci. Let me just get that 0.5 Fib on there. Um, yeah, this box right here, I'd say from about that 0.5 Fib to about that Luna crash high. Boom, you know, 165 to 180. So you, you're seeing a lot of the a lot of the L1s um, are the strongest. Uh, like even the L1s that are down, they're down the least, right? Like polka dot is only down one percent. Um, what else you got? Eight is down two percent. Cosmos is down two percent. Everything else kind of got fried. <laughs> but like the, the layer ones haven't really gone down too much today. But everything else, down the scooter, down the scooter. Aptos, Aptos on its way to all time highs too, shit. Aptos, 20 bucks, 20, 20 US dollars, woo, on Aptos. But yeah, man, I mean, you, you see some good moves today, but really it's, it's the layer one today. It's Phantom, AVAX, Soul, um aptos and then the layer one's holding up pretty good like dot dot like i said well, the, the ones we just talked about actually not holding up too bad ai coins are the biggest red today because they were the biggest green yesterday i guess it's slightly logical um and then yeah and then yeah that yeah, yeah man but anderson <laughs> anderson always wants to talk about the uh the old coin charts is it worth to buy fetch now on this dip uh fetch just know, here's what I'll say about FET. Here's what I'll say about FET. I think it eventually goes higher. Just know that it is at a major resistance level, okay? So this is where people are going to take profits. I've taken profits on FET. So many people are going to be taking profits right here, okay? Why? One, two, three, right? Very simple. This has been a major take profit level in the past. So just not right? I mean, it can, it's a major resistance level. It might take a little bit to get through here. I think it eventually does. But um, you are buying high. But I mean, I mean, it's all relative, right? So you're buying high in the cycle. You're buying at about a 15% discount. 26% discount. It's up to you. It's up to you. Can you weather the red? If you can weather red, if you can weather the red days, then sure. If you can't, <laughs> I don't know if it's the best time to buy FET. But, but if you can weather the red days, I say this because most people are emotional, right? So if they buy FET today and FET's red again tomorrow, it's over, <laughs> right? You're selling at a loss. But if you can weather those red days and get through the, like, the little consolidations for the AI coins, the AI coins have the best have been the best performers. Um, so if you got tough skin, if you got the guts to hold through the consolidations, I don't think it's a bad. I don't think it's a horrible idea. Let's all say. Um, like the stream, make it for heat. The heat's like the stream. Woo! -hoo! Strap up. Let's go. We're going to the moon. Let's go, homies. Let's freaking go. I'm ready for the rest of this market. I don't know about you guys, Bo. I don't know about you guys. Anderson, my algo bag is here to stay. Algo? Dude, algo has been a slug. Algo has been a slug ever since the beginning of time for me. I, I refuse to buy algo ever again just because it, 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 every, anytime I've ever bought algo, it never moves. Maybe this time's different for you, Anderson. I hope so, bud. I hope so, man. I really do. Uh, Crypto Queen, I just woke up. Where's Bitcoin going? It's all relative where you think it's going. It could pull back more, right? I mean... Just know every pullback for Bitcoin this cycle has been about 20%. That would put you about 59K. 59K is always possible. I'm looking at the price action from 2020. Um, I think as long as we hold 64K, we could still do the same thing we did back in 2020. Um, if we lose 64K, I think we probably see 59. 
That's all I'll say. Um, we're just going to play ifs, 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 because that's all you can really do. Play ifs. We hold this. I think that's the low. We go higher. We break this. I think we go down here to 59. Uh, I bought more FET. When Jordan says, take a profits. <laughs> With the horse guy all the way. There you go, man. Stupid cycle. Woohoo! I can't wait until a few days. In a few days, we're all in here. Something tells me we're all going to be sitting in here. And, well, Jordan, I told you we're going to a super cycle. I was scared a few days ago. I actually thought we were going significantly lower. Yes. But I believe it's super cycle again. Jordan, you are an idiot. Super cycle. <laughs> no taking profits. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, what's your strategy for taking profits? Yeah, there's no strategy. Whatever you're, whatever you're comfortable with. All right? If you're more conservative, you take bigger take profits. If you, if you, if you got balls of steel and you want higher gains, you take, you take less percentage profits. It, it all depends. It depends on many different things. You know? Uh... Siri said, I bought GPU after your stream yesterday. $20 gas for you. Let's go. Let's go, Siri. Good to have you on the GPU team. Yeah, GPU had a massive day yesterday. Pull them back today. I mean, any, any coin that goes up, I think GPU was up what, like 60% yesterday. Uh, yeah, GPU was up 55% yesterday. So any, any coin that goes up 55% in a day, maybe you probably get a little retrace. So we've retraced um, about... 17 percent today but you know overall i think this is a good one if you can weather the weather the ups and downs i think this is going to be a good one uh going forward but uh yeah big day on gpu yesterday shit was shit was rocking yesterday most ai coins pulled back today though which is cool which is cool i'm on a super cycle are you bullish on sushi yeah i like sushi are we talking we're talking about the food or are we talking about the coin the same answer. Yeah, sushi's good. Ooh, sushi. I actually like I like it the sushi. Yes. I like at the sushi. Why do I like at the sushi? Look, these are bear market highs. Bear market highs. Now you're trying to flip it in support now. So we, we already tried to do that once back here. We failed, right? We broke back through. It was over. Boop. We want to hold this here now. We hold here as support, right? So we flip previous resistances into support, right? And if we can do that, then this is wake off, right? Right? So resistance, resistance. We broke through resistance, right? Resistance. We hold the resistance into support. This is the SOS phase. And then we look to go higher eventually. Just know like this this could take a little bit, right? So anytime with those SOS phases, we can chop in here for a few weeks, right? Before that move up. But I mean, this should in theory be wipe off accumulation. In theory. It's not always that pretty. But in theory, this should be wipe off accumulation. If we hold this box. If we break through the box, well... <laughs> Last time we broke through the box, we went back to the bottom of the box, right? So, but in theory, this should be wiped off, and we should hold and, and continue up. As always, in theory. Hoff said, "I bought Ajax today and also OP. Nice. Yeah, OP's gotten rocked. OP has gotten absolutely rocked. Let's check out OP. So OP three thirty three. It's almost back down to that bull market support band. So if if you could, yeah, I mean." If you can, the closer you can get it to this bull market support band, the better. Um, but yeah, OP taking like a thirty-three percent haircut. Not a good haircut. I don't like haircuts like that. I want I want the bullish haircut. But yeah, a little haircut. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Um, once again, start your diary today. <laughs> Just kidding. You guys don't have to start your start your man diary today. Mark how you're feeling about Bitcoin today. Mark how you feel. Do you feel comfy? Do you feel bad? Um, do you feel really, really good? 
mark how you feel, okay? And then in a few days, whether we're higher or lower, mark how you feel again, okay? Um, so I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy. Catch you later. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, same time tomorrow. Like I said, tomorrow is the last day. We'll do the 11.30 stream. And then we'll be back to our normal 7 p.m.s uh, going forward. But thanks for coming in, guys. Appreciate you all. And um, enjoy your Monday. And hopefully we can get some bounces on some shit. That'd be nice. I like bounces. I don't, I don't like dumps. So <laughs> later, fellas. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.